Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, this is what we're working with here. How's the Vulcan seal working, Tata? Does that work better? <laughs> Nero, you got that Vulcan seal all over you. Vulcan <laughs> seal. Well, your fingers won't leak now. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to turn the water on. That corn's doing good. We've got that tarpaulin taken off of the shade down there, the shade tarp, that's this one here. Top is making uh, a center cover. Lots more better. This is our leftover lumber. What we can use for next time. Uh, Tatai's covering this over well for to stop evaporation loss. I think we've we've finally got the kinks ironed out of this. It's looking good. Alright, well these pits are pretty much complete. I've started the water. Um, I'm not going to worry about screens right now because uh, every little bit of azola that goes through the drain pipes will be that much less that I have to transfer. Uh, these are pretty much complete. I've talked to Tatai about... Uh, in the States they have a little tool with a torch. It's a round piece of metal two or three inches in diameter, all different sizes, but uh, they just go along and they pop hole. It's, it's, they use a torch, the metal is, the, the torch heats the metal. Uh, they just walk along as fast as they can walk and pop holes in the black plastic. Uh, I've seen them use it for strawberry plants and strawberry fields that way. I've talked to Tatai about making one with a coal, just a double bottom can open on both ends and we can stick a coal in one end but I am going to look around and see if they if they have a little hand torch here and we could uh, MacGyver some kind of a little attachment on it to put the holes in the tarp we'll get that figured out at some point in the future Really pleased. We're going to stretch one more line in here to raise this, uh, raise the shade up so that I can easily walk underneath it. And Tata, I were talking at some point after we get uh, down to that corner down there, we're going to redo these first two. And the first one has a hole in it somehow. And I just like this setup we've got over here so much better than what we've got here. Probably after we harvest the first row of corn, we'll be able to do this pit. And then as we, we haven't even been planted yet, but as we harvest uh, the second and third row of corn, then we'll be able to do the second pit. It's just so much easier doing it this way because we don't have to worry about uh, the sides of the tarp falling into the azola pit. I wish I'd had this idea before, but it was just one of those things. I was down here and walking around and the light came on. Uh, and that light wasn't on when we were doing these first ones. It's not that these first two pits 
are are not functional they are but uh, for ease of use you know, the way we've done it these last few are much better so the next step is I've instructed Tatai to put about what would end up being an inch of soil in the bottom of each pit on top of the tarpaul on top of the tarp and I'm thinking of going with a full sack of the carabao dung in each pit and I'm already putting water in them I started it in the first one started the water coming in anyway so we're going to get soil and carabao poo in here uh, both needed for nutrition and the soil will also help seal up any little pinpricks or, or small leaks that we have in the tarp because this was handled uh, a lot and walked on more than uh, we'll have to in the future and there may be small leaks in it here and there so the soil will help uh, seal it uh, the azola needs the nutrition from the soil trace minerals mostly I'm putting in the nitrogen and phosphorus that it needs actually it doesn't need any nitrogen but I haven't been able to find straight phosphorus here uh, Azola fixes nitrogen in the water and going forward uh, you know I had told Tatai a couple times but he, I guess he didn't understand but uh, we talked about it until I had him re repeat it back to me this morning uh, what I want I mean he he has set these drain pipes in right in a row like this and because Azola fixes nitrogen in the water it can build up too much it needs a, it needs nitrogen in the water that's why we're putting the dung in it it needs a start but over time it builds up too much and so what I wanted and what we're gonna do moving forward Tata's Tata's clear on it now is I just wanted this to the, from one pit to the next I wanted I wanted it to meander like a stream uh, going from one pit to the other because when the way it's set up now we're not going to get a lot of water exchange so in a perfect world that drain pipe right there that's in this in the that's connecting the second to third pit would be down on the other end and then this one would be okay and then that one would be down on the other end so that this will uh, so that it'll act like one giant meandering long stream that the water just flows from one to the other this way we're not getting a lot of exchange I'm not gonna have them change it now it, it is what it is uh, I know that Tata and the workers get discouraged when I come back and say no this is wrong do it the other way so I'm going to avoid that by uh, just calling it good the way that it is and dealing with it. Alrighty. Well, it's taken about three hours, four out, three or four hours to get this much water in this pit. It's just almost ready to drain into the next one. And we've got about four or five inches of water in it, which is just pretty much dang old perfect <coughs> so <clears throat> I would anticipate that by tomorrow evening at this time all three of these pits will have water in them Nariel's bringing down the strainer right now because I forgot it I had to yell back up for him to bring it we're gonna uh, take about a quarter of these old out of that first pit and put it in this one and then we'll take a quarter out of it again tomorrow and put in this one and the same thing with the last one and yeah, this is working just fine tomorrow I'm going to plant the second row of corn along this right hand side here Tata and I are going to try to figure out some it's going to be the Oki and the Filipino again we're going to figure out a way Tata says he can build a uh, a can, a double bottom, false bottom can 
that we can put a piece of charcoal in and to heat up the can and we'll go along and and make holes in this in these tarps so that we can plant and so the right hand side of all these pits will have corn planted in them and then about a month we'll come along and plant the left hand side and just continue on You like two kilos, Nario, and put it in here. Two kilos? Yeah. Two or three. Just right. There is so much in that first pit. I see no problem at all getting a good start in these other pits using it. just thick in there. Everything that he's taking out, it's so packed up and stacked on top of itself, it's just filling right back in almost instantly. That's good. Okay. Now take that and, and go like oh. this and, and put it in here. Watch out, Nini. No. No. Maybe even down a little bit. Because see down there, Tatai, it's overtopping right there. So maybe this one, like down half inch. Yeah? That one, I adjusted that one already. That's perfect. The first one. This one is a little bit too, the water the water's too deep a little bit. Yeah, half inch would be perfect. Well, they took out many tatai and it's, <laughs> it's still full. It's doing very good. That's like 10 days, yeah? I can't remember how long without I simply put the first amount in here. Ten days, two weeks? Maybe two weeks. Two weeks. And we put maybe what? One and a half meter? Yeah. And now it's sixteen, seventeen meter? Yeah. Grows very fast. <laughs> but see Tatai from the leak over there? It's full of water here. This whole pit is full of water now. 
because that's leaking around that. We got to figure out something. Uh, Volca seal, yeah. That's working out just fine. So there's about two thirds of that blue bucket that he put in there. So it's about three kilos, which is more than what we started with. And I would imagine that would be about six feet if it was all in one space. It would fill up the pit all the way six feet wide or six feet long. And it's a 50 foot pit, so I'm the way it's been growing, I would estimate this pit would be will be full in about five days and ready to harvest. And what we'll do when we harvest is we'll just come down just like they did just now with a bucket and a strainer and get a bucket full out of them every day. And so we'll get a bucket of Zola, of a Zola at least, out of every one of these pits all the way down around the corner there when they're done. We'll get a bucket of a Zola out of them every day for almost free. And I'm liking it. I was talking to Marcel today that if we had all this field and production in a Zola, one sack of feed would last us four or five days instead of uh, two sacks a day, two and a half sacks a day, which is what we're using now. Progress. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.